What's up everybody, Noah from Stage 3 Motorsports here and today I'm going to be showing you how to install this TRD style grill on your Toyota Tacoma. Before we dive into the actual install, I do want to make a quick note that the truck we have here is a 2018 that has that little sensor module in the grill from factory for the emergency braking and adaptive cruise. And this install will work on a truck with that module, but you want to make sure you have this garnish plate here with your kit. So that way you can swap your factory module in behind this new plate and you're not going to have issues with it interfering or throwing up that warning light or having to disconnect it. So definitely make sure you have that before you get started. If your truck does not have that module from factory, then this will be a little bit easier for you because you'll just have a plate in here that already fills that out and you won't have to worry about any of the wiring. So with all that out of the way, let's get right into it. First thing we need to do is remove these two 10 millimeter screws here holding the posts for the grill. Now you're just going to have one of these plastic clips on each side by your headlight and you're going to want to use a pry tool to go ahead and pop the center portion up and then you can pop the rest of the clip out. Now if you have a sensor module in your grill like we do, you're going to have a wiring harness that comes up to it so you'll need to unplug this before you pull the grill out. From here to remove the grill, all you have to do is pull up on these posts so they come off the little plastic tabs. And then we're gonna grab the grill and just kind of pull outward. There we go. We've got our grill flipped around, sitting on the table face down. And now we need to remove the center portion of the grill from the surround, which is the actual painted trim piece around the outside of it. And it's not too tricky, but there are about a thousand plastic tabs around this outer rim that have to be pinched and pushed through to get it free. So I'm gonna go through, just unclip all of these. And then there's a couple Phillips head screws scattered around the outside of this grill surround as well. So we're gonna need to undo those screws. So we have the grill surround separated from the actual center grill portion and the only thing left that's really keeping these two pieces attached is this wiring harness going to our sensor. Now this is just a little tricky to pop off because you can't really unclip it from the bottom until you've removed the surround. So I'm going to get that free and then we'll focus in on the sensor. Now you'll want to grab your Phillips head screwdriver and we're going to remove these two black screws on the sides of the sensor as well as this silver one at the top. Next, grab your little pry tool here and we're going to pop up these clips that are holding the wiring harness around the sensor. Now, before you set your grill out of the way, make sure you grab these little metal threaded inserts out of here because you're gonna need these on your new grill. Once you've got your new TRD grill out of the box, you'll see that it typically has this little piece in place in the center. And this is the grill piece you wanna use if you don't have a sensor module. But if you do, you're gonna wanna pop this out and replace it with the new garnish plate that goes in here. And it's really simple to do. When you flip it over, you'll see that there's basically just these two little plastic tabs that get pinched as well as two metal tabs up here. And these ones are a little easier to pop with pliers. And then once you have it out, the plate comes out really easily. Now I'm gonna drop our new garnish plate into place and you'll just line up the tabs with where the cuts are on the grill and pop it through just like that. Next up, grab those little metal inserts we pulled off the other grill and slide them into place here. And then we can grab our sensor module and just set it right onto those plastic pegs. Thank you. 
While we're back here, we're gonna drop in our Toyota lettering, and this basically just only fits in one way. You can see that it's cut out to fit the shape of the grill. And then there's four little slots here where we're gonna drop in some screws, and you should have four Phillips head screws that came with the kit. Okay, now we've got our grill surround back on the bench. We're gonna take the new grill, just set the wiring harness in there and get this popped into place. If you got the light kit with your grill, you're gonna have four of these LEDs to go across the top and they do disconnect from the main harness. So you'll wanna unplug them and then just space them out evenly. Now we're gonna take the new grill assembly and put it back on the truck and it should clip in exactly the same way that it came out. The last thing to do here now that the grill is mounted up is to grab your harness with these connectors to connect to the actual grill lights that we popped in earlier. And then you'll see the ends are just a power and a ground. There's no switch or anything here. The idea is that you just tie these into your parking lights for your truck, but you guys can add a switch and a fuse and stuff if you want, that's up to you. So we're gonna connect these, run the wiring real quick, then we should be good to go. All right, guys, that is a wrap on the install for this TRD style grill. I think it looks great on here. And if you're interested in picking up one of these grill kits for your truck, you can head down in the description below. We'll have some links there that are gonna shoot you over to our website. And as always, thank you guys for watching and I will see you next time.